guys welcome back to another video today we we're talking about the ls2 rapid helmet first oh look at harley oh she's so big she's such a big girl she's so cute say hi say hi oh i love this freaking dog so much anyways if you're standing in the motorcycle shop right now holding the ls2 rapid helmet and you're holding it because it's the cheapest helmet that fits you in my case like it was for me i'd say Go ahead and get it, it's not that bad. With that being said, I do have a few gripes though. So as you can see, it's a pretty good looking helmet here. Not that bad actually. I just got the uh, tin advisor, oh, come on now. You can see it has vents right up front, which actually don't work that much, we'll get into that. Vents up here, um, and this is DOT rated, or certified, DOT certified, and ECE. 22.05 whatever that means i don't know but when i got this helmet it was really tight on my cheeks right here which i think is that's no where all helmets it just works you in after a while um my main thing about this helmet my main gripe my main gripe is when i wear it it like the chin comes right here on this so you put it in on and the office doesn't sit like that it sits like this and it just for some reason doesn't come down to my chin always my chin's like hanging out of the helmet as you can see in these clips which is really weird i don't know if that's because my face is shaped weird or my head is shaped weird but it happens to me every time i ride my helmet and i guess this is a different thing the helmet starts coming up off my head it feels like which is kind of unsatisfying i don't know if that's ls2 or if that's maybe i don't know if i'm not wearing a helmet wrong i just kind of put it on but um yeah it starts coming up off my head when i ride especially when i'm like when i'm going fast uh, it starts, you can feel it when I sit up, I can just kind of feel it riding up my chin right here, my jawline. So I kind of have to push it. Why does it keep focusing like that? I have to kind of push it forward and down. I get it kind of over my, under my, back to where I need it on my chin and just down on my freaking head. And my ears kind of hold it and, you know, your chin kind of holds it. That's squeeze squeezing your head. But uh, that's not really fun. Uh, this chin strap isn't very cool either. I mean, it's cool that you can just like put it in there like this real quick. You just slide it in and it clasps like that, except it doesn't get any tighter, which I mean, I guess that's how it's supposed to be. So it doesn't, when if you do fall or something like was to draw your head around, it wouldn't just move your head around with the helmet and just break your freaking head off, or whatever. It just kind of has that, that give to it, which is good, I guess, but it's still kind of weird because it's just hanging and hitting my items up all the time. But it does have the quick release. I think all helmets do that. You just kind of do that and it comes out. Um, inside padding, not too terrible. Uh, I think it's pretty basic. Uh, it's easy to run the mic, kind of. And this doesn't, this padding right here, probably can't see that. This padding right here does not come out. You just, I just ran my wire up in there. Um, I don't know if this is a helmet, but when you put in your comm system, like I have right here, your speakers, they will hurt your ear, maybe. I mean, maybe just because this comp system has bigger speakers. I don't know if the speakers are big on this one or what, but um, when I first put it in, if, it didn't, if I didn't put it in right, if I put it in too high, it would my ears would fold and it would hurt a lot. And I had to move my helmet around and keep moving it until my ears unfolded. But you can, I guess you can move them around and kind of got mine to really sit down here. My ears kind of go past it and flip up. But you do, it is something to get used to that your comms are kind of close to your ears. I don't know if that's, with all helmets, or maybe my speakers are big on this comm system, but that is something to think about. Well, it is not that noisy either. Um, and again, I haven't worn any other. I haven't worn any other helmets in a long time. This is the first one in years I've worn, and it's not actually that noisy. I can hear my helmet. I can talk to people just fine. They can hear me just fine. Um, it's pretty good. The ventilation is good. Now, like I was saying, I got that vent on the front, which I was riding the other day, and I was flipping it on and off, and I couldn't tell the difference because the freaking screen, the windscreen down here, isn't actually under my chin, so it's not really doing anything. It's like right here at my lip, like, so I got that much of my chin showing. I just got a bunch of air going in. It's not as weird as not that loud, but I don't know. If it's your first helmet, it's not a bad helmet to buy. Um, these eyes glow in the dark, which is really cool, actually kind of scared the eyes and the teeth going dark which scared me the first I walked in a room one time and it was dark and these were like right next to the door and it was scared it scared the crap out of me but um cool looking helmet not bad I would say uh 
If you're standing right there thinking about getting it, go ahead and get it.